हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू येट अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो सो द फर्स्ट अल्फा बिल्ड ऑफ ऑक्सीजन ओ एस फोर्टीन इज बीन रिलीज बाय वन प्लस फॉर वन प्लस इलेवन देर आर नॉट मेनी चेंजेस विच यू गाइस विल सी ऑन दिस अल्फा बिल्ड बट विद अपकमिंग बिल्ड यू विल गेट मोर यू आई चेंजेस दो दिस बिल्ड इज स्टिल बेस्ड ऑन ऑक्सीजन ओ एस थर्टीन डॉट वन विच गेज फ्यू हिंस एंड ऑल्सो हाईलाइट अपकमिंग चेंज विल टॉक अबाउट एवरी चेंज ऑन दिस ऑक्सीजन ओ एस फोर्टीन फर्स्ट अल्फा बिल्ड सो नाउ विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी मोर टाइम Let's get started. So here I'll be comparing with two phones. Towards the left hand side, I have my One Plus Ten Pro, and towards the right hand side, I have my One Plus Eleven, which is running on the Alpha build based on Android fourteen. Let me show you the software information first. If I go to About section, here you can see it says Oxygen OS thirteen dot one Alpha version. And if I go to Android version, Android version is Android fourteen, which comes with fifth August twenty twenty three security patch. Also, we have the Easter egg of Android fourteen. It's nice to see that OnePlus have released the first alpha build which doesn't have much of bugs and it can be used as daily driver too. I'll be fully testing this build and I'll drop a in-depth review pretty soon. So if you have any particular questions related to this build, do let me know in the comment section below. And now before moving ahead if you guys like the content and if you think it's useful for you guys then make sure to smash that like button and also consider subscribing. Now let's talk about all the changes what I have discovered till now in my initial usage. So the first change log is with the lock screen. so first let me lock the device and if i unlock the device now you can see if i swipe the dial pad now have this circular pins instead of only numbers which we get to see on oxygen os 13 and the text is also moved towards the bottom side compared to 13.1 so this is the first change what you guys will notice on this alpha build and the second change you'll notice once you put your device for charging now we get this text of smart rapid charging is on on 13.1 i never saw this and you can also see the screenshot from the previous build once you see the charging animation the other text like date fingerprint animation are not highlighted much soon this charging pops up only this charging animation and the fingerprint icon gets highlighted you can clearly see a difference in both these screenshots i did not notice any kind of changes in the notification panel quick setting tiles launcher and one plus shelf the next change is layer to alert slider so here you can see the alert slider tile had the icon color depending on the wallpaper color but that's not the case now now text and the icon are in similar color it doesn't matter you change any wallpaper i tried that thing on my oneplus 11 but it remains same alert slider pill also got resized which is now larger compared to previous one and also the position of pop up is changed now you can see side by side comparison previously it used to adapt the wallpaper color but now that's not the case might be in future we might get to see the more material use stuff on oxygen os 14 after that another change which i noticed and that's under the camera ui so if i open the camera ui now you can see we have four options one is for the ultra wide second 1x 2x and then we also got the 5x zoom option now and ui is also changed a lot filters and retouch option have been moved towards the right side on the top you can also see the changes in the icons and the settings option also got these horizontal lines and you can see a huge difference in the settings which are present on alpha build now if you go to the settings page here i don't get to see much of difference everything remains same previously shooting modes had this grayish background but that's not the case on alpha build we only get to see the icon and text along with that we also get to see bolder text the sidebar also got little bit of changes you can see on alpha build it's more thicker compared to 13.1 where it was thinner and the next Next change, what you'll notice, whenever you slide on these text present in the app drawer, you can see the icon size have been decreased, and it is in white color instead of. adapting to the wallpaper color so this is another minor change what you'll notice in the app drawer so these were some of the changes which we have spotted in app drawer lock screen camera application now let's talk about the changes done in the settings so first change you'll notice under wallpaper and style section if you open the font section now we get to see the more description about that particular font and there are few things missing like font weight adaptive font weight etc another change you'll notice under display and brightness section going to screen resolution solution now we get to see a preview instead of only these text options which we have seen on 13.1 
Under sounds and vibration, there was a pop-up initially. You can see that you can use the alert slider on the left side of the phone to switch different modes. But I did not get any kind of option to switch the pop-up of alert slider towards the left hand side or I'm not sure whether they are talking about something else. This was a pop-up which I wanted to show you guys. Now Haptics got a different section. Previously it was under the same section of Dolby Atmos, Special Audio, Haptics and more. Now Haptics and more have different partition. Under notification and status bar, you can see there's a new option called smart suggestion. If you have enabled this, this will send you real time updates about your ride hailing, food deliveries and other information. So tapping on it, if you go to settings of smart suggestion, you can see how it will pop up in the status bar for rides. Right now, grab application is supported. Uber and Ola are not added. But under lifestyle, you will find Zomato and Swiggy, both the options available. Could be a nice implementation. I'll test this feature properly and update you guys in the review video. I'm not sure whether this new section of security and privacy was already there. As far as I remember, it was already there on 13.1 on my OnePlus 11, where security and privacy is now under same section, wherein on my OnePlus 10 Pro, security and privacy had a different section. Next change is under battery section. So if you tap on battery health, now you have a preview of battery booster which wasn't the case on previous build and there's also a new option called stop charging at 80 percent so these were all the changes what we have discovered on this alpha build there are some minor issues not a major one but minor one first one is layer to ui so when i swipe from left to right this height application pops up along with this you'll see the white animation popping up in the status bar also so let me show you once again and here you can see this is a very minor issue but i wanted to mention you guys and the next issue which we have found out till now is layered to the chinese text which is appearing under always on display for the option of contextual info so guys these were all the changes and some minor bugs which we have discovered on first alpha build of oxygen os 14 if you guys still have any kind of questions you can let me know in the comment section below this is your friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video